Okay, here I am today to talk about definitely my favorite all-time tool. I know I say that I have a lot of favorites, but I do really like our stuff. <laughs> um, but I really I use this tool almost on every page that I do. Um, this is the Border Maker System. If you don't have this, um, it's something that you definitely want. I don't care who you are. I don't care what supplies you use. This is a time saver and um, quite addictive. Um, you can do borders really fast and just uh, limitless ideas. So you need the Border Maker System itself. It is always on sale. The company always has this tool on sale because you get the system, you get the picket fence cartridge with it, and you get to pick one more cartridge. The price of this is less, the, the, the price of the whole system is less than the price of two cartridges. So this tool is always marked down by our company. We want to get it in your hands. It's fantastic. All right. So the cartridges go in like this. And we have lots of cartridges to choose from. If you do this particular cartridge, the um, picket fence, it does not drop off. So you'll get this look right here. When I say drop off, I mean some borders actually fall off and it's ready to be a border. Some stay on, which are designed to be perfect to not be cut off. Like I could put this piece of paper down right now and it's already going to look great on um, as a border. So let me show you what I mean. So that would look really pretty just the way it is. You could trim it off if you want to or not. You could kind of use it as a wallpaper. A lot of people with this picket fence cartridge, this one is really crazy versatile. Um, you can actually thread through it. Um, let me see if I can find another piece of paper that doesn't look terrible with this. Um, give me a second. I always um, forget what I want to do. This is going to look somewhat terrible, but we're going to do it anyways. Because um, it's the first piece of paper I put my hand on. Um, I like to do this uh, hmm, about a centimeter. Uh, we do have centimeter marks on here as well as inch marks. This is one centimeter. Uh, you can play with it and do what you like. But this is going to um, fit through there really easy. So I'm just going to thread it through. To get a really cool look now if this were um a printed paper that would probably get but a really even more dramatic and pretty look but i wanted to just show you how easy this is and how pretty it is to get different looks and this one is a cartridge that comes with your border maker um and of course there um, you are able to pick one more with your border maker system and those change so like if you go on right now to buy a border maker I don't know what your choices are going to be I do know that you're definitely going to get this one though and then um, you'll have a choice of getting others all right is that pretty all right so another one um, just to show you some versatility this one also stays on the paper this is the cloud so again, you can see how pretty that looks just the way it is. It kind of looks like bubbles. Use your imagination. Um, you can leave them on or cut them off. Um, sometimes I like to cut them off and make a double border. So if I cut that off and wanted clouds to be on the other side as well, all I would need is my cartridge with the cloud in it. When you put it in, make sure Creative Memories goes in first so that these notches stick out. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, um, because this is too thin to put back in the border tool, and you'll see that in a minute, but I'm gonna cut upside down. So I'm just gonna fill the window so that I don't see any open spaces. And then you can see I can go all the way down. You wanna dump your scraps out so you don't get a tangle but just go all the way down and then I will get um, a double border, okay? So this is really awesome for, um, for titles and so forth, all right? All right, so that takes care of that idea. You can also do um, where you mix your cartridges. So on this one, I mixed the wine chain cartridge. Let me put it on paper. I mixed the wine chain cartridges. It's got little wine bottles and wine glasses with the new um, mirrored, scalloped mirror. 
I, I might be saying that wrong. But anyways, it is new and it's pretty and it mixes well with this. <laughs> All right. Um, here's one that I, here's a page spread that I made with the barbed wire. I'm showing this only because is it barbed wire? Yes, that, that's the name of the punch. But it's also just a really pretty design. So I did this this border on this uh, child's page. So this is just the border itself. Um, so let's go ahead and make a border. I'm gonna make one with the apple chain. Um, these again are also cartridges that they don't stay along very long. So don't say, oh, I'm gonna buy that next time. Um, if you like it, you should buy it only because they don't last that long. These are collector's pieces, and when they sell out, they sell out. So this is Apple Chain. So what I did, if you've never used this before, I pulled this little bottom tray out, opened it up, put the piece of paper in so that it was level with the tray. This is magnetic. It holds the paper in place. Roll the tray back, and now we're ready to cut with these little knobbies. You put the knobbies in. There's only one place they will go. This knob lines up with all the knobs here, so it's very easy. You don't. You could do it with your eyes shut if you want to. And I'm just going to show you how fast a border can be made. So this is your simple standard border. This is the apple chain. And can you imagine this on a school page? All right, pretty. All right, so um, now I just want to show you how to mix the cartridges if you've never seen that before. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to grab, it's important that you grab two cartridges that do the same thing. Remember we talked about picket fence being one that held onto the paper? Well, the apple chain is one that does not hold onto the paper. So if I'm going to mix chains, I need to pick two that do not hold on or both do hold on. So I'm going to grab two that um, fall off of the paper. I really like... Um, Let's do this one. This is called Lamplight. It's one of my faves. And we'll mix that with, how about, barbed wire. All right. So, and there's no rhyme, no reason. Like, I could do every other one with this one. I could do one on the end and then fill the rest in with the barbed wire. Um, there's no rhyme, no reason. I'm going to go ahead and do um, two in the middle with the Lamplight. Then I'm gonna change cartridges and then fill in the rest of the space with the barbed wire. Be very careful because sometimes there's a strong link between the two and sometimes it's a really delicate link. So let me show you this one. Okay, is that super cool? All right, and then the last thing that I want you to be aware uh, is you can just use it for punches. Like if I just wanted, what might I just want a punch of instead of the whole thing? Um, what if I just wanted to do a little design across the top of a four by six photo? In fact, let me go ahead and cut a mat. I'll do, um, go ahead and cut a mat so that you can see what I'm talking about. So here's my mat. And let's imagine a photo sitting on it. And then what if I just wanted a design across the top? Then what I would need is a either like a six inch border. I'm such a mess. All right, so let's... um. I'm gonna use the mirror triangle because it's in there. Okay, this one falls off. So when I go to put this on my paper, let's say I had a photo on this and I wanted just a little piece of decoration, I could put it right there. Is that cool? All right, and then the one last thing, uh, I think I said last thing a second ago, but I'm gonna do it again. Um, one last thing is you really can use this as a punch alone. Um, so, for instance, how about these little paw prints? What if I didn't want a whole border with paw prints? This, this one is actually called animal print. So what if I didn't want 
animal prints all over the place, but I just wanted some animal prints at the top of my photo mat. Um, and then I wanted to put a photo here. All right. So anyways, they're crazy versatile, so don't feel like you have to do every one as a border. You can do punches. You can mix them. Go crazy with it. Great tool. You should get it. Thanks for watching.